Hi, I'm Steven Seifert. Welcome to video lesson number two. This month we're going to work on whiskey before breakfast. I've got some pretty simple arrangements. I've also got some fancy ones, including a bluegrass uh, version capo at four. It's got a lot of neat riffs in it. I want to spend some time talking about which fingers you should be using on your left hand. Whether you should use your thumb, no thumb, whether you should use your pinky, whether you should just be using one finger to do everything. There's some pluses and minuses to all those possibilities and we'll cover all of that. We're also going to spend a little time doing some backup, just talking about the various chord positions for the D, G, and A chords. Let's get started. Here's Whiskey Before Breakfast, either page 10 or 11. We're going to do the first two lines twice and the last two lines twice. That's the A and B part. Here we go. One, two, three, and four, and... Watch how my wrist has to turn a little bit. Watch this. Again. I'm G. Next to it written, we have an O on the bass, a 1 on the middle, and a 3 on the melody. That's an O-1-3 chord. Notice my middle finger's just hanging out. Yeah, just watch how I'm using my fingers. Something else I want you to think about is your alternate strumming these. Don't get your pick down into these little graves, I think. Three, three, five. When I flip that, I'm holding down the bass and, and middle with my ring finger. When I flip it, the index finger goes over to the bass at five, and then my pinky flattens over just the middle and melody. That's something I do a whole lot. Uh, the thumb player might do something like this, or hold down all threes and move the thumb around. Uh, Whiskey Before Breakfast, Bluegrass Flat Picked, Capo 4, pages 22 23. 